What's up? Lauren over here at TMF Apparel USA, and I've got an issue with my 3880, and I'm going to address it here because I know it's hard to find this kind of information, and it's going to revolve around this ink bay right here. So the situation that I have happening is I have one damper that I'm having a hard time pulling ink through, which means the ink's not transferring from the cartridge all the way to the damper. Now, the damper's good, I know that, I've tested the damper. So I'm having an issue, it's either my cartridge, which I don't think it is, my cartridges all seem to be pretty decent, or it's something else. So I'm gonna dissect what's inside of this ink bay and show you where the ink actually goes. Maybe this will help you uh, understand and help diagnose some of your problems as well. All right, so this is the ink bay removed from the printer. Now, mine's really easy to get to, and I have a, quite a few of these because I've disassembled a bunch of these printers. Um, and the first thing we're going to do, once it's out, is we're going to take it over, and we're going to disassemble the back. So I'm going to use a drill. We're going to disassemble all of these screws. Okay. So we're going to pop this piece off. Now what we have is this piece right here. Now this piece is pretty neat too. because This is actually what feeds the ink into the printer. Into the lines. Oh, come on over here. Oh, they're pretty good. A little bit of a suction going on, pressed in, voila, there we go. Now, if you'll notice, they look like little dampers inside of each one of these little compartments. This piece here, uh, inside of here, doesn't really get too dirty. And what I'm going to do is just put on a little bit of pressure, and we'll see these things kind of bubble up. There we go. So we get some ink flow through it. And that's what we're looking for is do we have ink flow through these guys? Like I said, they do act like little dampers. So that one's flowing just fine. And I can just go from one to the other here. Being careful not to low ink all over my all over myself and what I would do is I would just clean this out um, and this one actually now that I look at it is actually damaged so if I were to put this in my printer you can see here this little nipple is actually broken so if I try to use this piece it's gonna link all leak all over the place so it came out of a donor printer so it's a good example of uh, something that could easily, easily cause you a nightmare scenario. This piece, however, perfectly good shape, just needs a new back. So I can pull one off another unit and clean it and reassemble it. But unfortunately, this one here is dead. All right, this is the unit out of my actual machine, still attached to the damper assembly. I am going to pop this off and have a look at what we've got going on here. See if I can't figure out why that one cartridge is causing me problems. I believe that I'm having an issue with this damper. Right here. What I want to do is see if I can pull anything out of them. Okay, 
they look okay to me. What I will say is that this unit here is pretty nasty inside of these guys. So I'm gonna do is go ahead and swap it out for a unit that is nice and clean. And we're just gonna reuse this sucker right here. I'll put that on the right way. Let's see. Top. So again, we're looking for issues with this guy, which holds all your inks. Now, there aren't any filters that I can tell in here, so it should be just straight flow. But if you did leave ink sitting, uh, that white ink can clog it up. And if you have an issue in your little nipples, that can also be a problem. So I hope this helps you understand how your ink bay works and maybe possibly diagnose some of that. If it's not pressurizing, causing you error codes, it could be in there because this is the part that actually pressurizes. And that is the, the top of the food chain for your ink flow. So keep a uh, note of that. Sometimes just get gummed up, just need to change them. So check out other videos on the site as well. And if you have some questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them.